Drop a like in the next five seconds and you won't have school next week. If you don't, you'll end up having Saturday school. The Fortnite, Fortnite Mares Halloween update has brought so many new mythic bosses, mythic weapons, map changes, and more, making this probably the best Fortnite Mares update we've ever had. Not to mention all the awesome skins that will be coming very soon, which reminds me, 78% of you guys watching this right now are not subscribed, which means you are missing out on a free gift from me. Now, some of you guys probably won't believe this, and trust me, I'm more angry at myself than anything, but I just gifted five of that new 2800 V-Buck Crypt Crashers pack and I forgot to record it. But look, I just had 14,200 V-Bucks and now I only have 200 and 2800, which is how much it costs times five is 14,000. And you can see I have zero daily gifts now. So yeah, I swear on my life, I swear on everything, I actually did get five of these. But also guys, we're super close to a huge goal of mine. So next time you get on Fortnite, please put doom in your fortnite item shop because it is the reason that i'm able to even pay for my internet oh yeah guys i just remembered that the brand new nexus war live event game mode is actually officially in the files right now so no it's not gonna pop up like on your game and all your game modes or whatever but it is in the files and also sizzy leaks founded this brand new helicarrier which obviously looks super similar to the helicarrier we have at spawn island but apparently it is technically in the files a separate helicarrier. So I didn't say anything too different from the video, but it is interesting nonetheless. And holy, look at this contra. This thing is insane. I don't think I've used this before, but we're gonna go and try to find Wolverine. I'm gonna use the trick to put on visualized sound effects. So we can try to find them a little bit easier. If you guys didn't know, the footsteps icon should appear way further away than normal, but I do not see anything yet. Ooh, but we do have a llama here, boys. That's what I'm talking about. I need to get some weapons first though. Make sure no one else gets a free kill on me. Oh guys, we have a breaking news leak from Hypex. He says there's going to be an upcoming dance floor soldier skin for Fort Nightmares. And the description is, he showed up to the party a couple of centuries earlier than expected. Dance floor soldier owners who take part in the nightmare party on October 31st will receive an exclusive at J Balvin style. Okay, so there it is. We finally have confirmation on how we're gonna get that free style. But now I'm just curious to what this skin actually looks like. But man, it still looks like they haven't updated to the Halloween Llama yet. I thought for sure they would have done that by now. We do have that destruction of the Llama Halloween animation, so I still have faith because that is in Battle Royale. Man, everyone must have already completed their Wolverine challenge because there is absolutely nobody here and I haven't seen any footsteps at all, so I guess Wolverine ain't around here either. Oh, we got footsteps. Could this be Wolverine? Oh no, I think it's a regular person. Oh my, it's so hard not having 3D audio. Oh, here he is. Oh, Wade's going all the way back down. Dude, I cannot tell where this guy is. Oh. Oh, thank the Lord he was a bot. This visualized sound effects thing is good for spotting people initially, but man, I cannot tell where they are. Apparently also we could be seeing Wolverine's vault in this area. I believe someone found it in the files, something related to Wolverine henchmen, as well as a vault in a cabin or using those cabin buildings. But so far it does not look like it's in the game yet. No way this dude tried to shoot me across the map, he didn't hit a single shot. Coming straight for you, bro. Oh, wait, he just boogied himself. Wait, where'd he go? Oh my, he's stuck. He's literally stuck. Oh, that poor guy. <laughs> All right, well, I haven't seen Wolverine in Slurpee or around Weeping, so maybe somebody already got him right away or something like that, because I never even saw him pop up on my little indicator. Like, I didn't see any footsteps or anything, so maybe someone already got him. I don't know. I'm wondering, guys, do you think they're going to change the mythics for Wolverine 2, or do you think they're just going to keep the same one? Oh, I just realized, you know how Wolverine can sell for revive? Like, as a boss, he's the only boss I can revive. What if he had a mythic that allowed you, if you were knocked, to sell for revive once? That would actually be so awesome. All right, well guys, I see absolutely nothing. So I guess we're gonna make our way over to authority and see what the changes are over there. What the? 
What is this guy doing? Holy. Bro, I cannot tell where this guy is. <laughs> I need my 3D audio back. What? Wait, what? Yeah, I hear footsteps, but I have no clue which part this guy's on. Oh. Peekaboo? No way. Oh, this poor, poor soul. He really thought he could just sneak up on me. But it looks like he didn't have any of the mythics either. All right, well, we're chilling now. I'm gonna try and make my way over to Authority before the zone gets there so we can try to check it out. All right, I'm sure all you guys have already heard about the new Midas boss with the ghostly henchman and the pumpkin launcher. But do you guys actually think he's going to have a gold scar? Or do you think he's gonna have the typical drum gun like he had before and like Jules had as well? Because personally, I only think it's right that he has the drum gun again. Let's head inside and check it out. Ooh, it's still pretty spooky in here. I don't really see any more decorations or anything though, surprisingly. Maybe they haven't implemented a lot of the new Halloween stuff yet. I'm not sure. All right, let's go check out the Midas room and see what's going on over there. All right, here we are, but everything looks pretty much the same to me. Let me heal up too. We still got his gold chair here. Whoever landed here before decided not to disrespect it, did to destroy it, so I'll leave it the same too. I'm still seeing all the shadow posters and everything. And hold up, let me turn off visualized sound effects and turn on my 3D audio again and yeah if you guys aren't using 3d audio i highly suggest you do it especially if you have a headset because without it i have no clue where anybody is i'm gonna go take a peek at the vault real quick but nope it looks just about the same storm's coming so i can't really get the chest and ooh, we actually have stark somewhat in the circle maybe i'll be able to go check that out real quick but actually this exact spot i'm in now reminds me of the leaks of the second helicarrier because it is right above where i am right now and now that we know that there are technically two different helicarriers in the files it makes sense why there was two different helicarriers in that first initial leak so this helicarrier is going to appear on the map at some point before the live event begins and it's actually crazy because if you go to iron man's whiteboard right now he has a drawing of the island with an x right in the center which is like another indicator that that is where the helicarrier is going to be so all this stuff is really starting to come together as we get closer to the end of the season and Speaking of Iron Man, do you guys remember when Mango leaked that Fortnite was working on an Iron Man jetpack in the files? Well, they just recently updated it to be placed under a Cosmos folder, which is apparently the code word for the Fort Nightmares event. So this jetpack is definitely going to be coming in the game very soon as a mythic weapon. But I'm just wondering if it's going to be dropped by Iron Man the boss himself, or if it's going to be a part of like the new Storm King LTM that they're probably going to have like they usually have in Fort Nightmares and it'll be a part of that mode only or it's possible it'll just be a part of the live event but since it has that Cosmos tag to it which Mango is saying is like the Fort Nightmares tag I really think it's going to come into the game before that. Personally I think that Zombie Iron Man is going to drop it because Zombie Iron Man just appeared in the most recent Spider-Man movie and Fortnite always seems to include like recent events when they do their collabs so it's like more relevant with the time or whatever but one second I need to take care of this dude he wanted to shoot me all the way from the mountain and now he's hiding so let me go find out wait what no way it's all in the other mountain now shooting me all right you know what screw this I gotta get up there we got bouncers Ooh, we hit him oh my he hit me harder no way oh and the other guy's still shooting at me Ooh, he's coming Come on, bro. Open up. He's really not editing on me. Oh, this poor guy. Oh, <laughs> I actually feel bad. I got the wall first time both tries. I swear I do not have zero ping. I don't know what happened. All right, now I gotta go try and get revenge on this dude that was shooting me across the map. No way that actually worked. Ooh, he's dropping on me. Oh. But dude, he knows every He knows everywhere I'm going. Hit him with the cones. 
No way! Oh my! Oh. He's coming hard. Oh my gosh! Oh! This guy's so good! That was too close. These third parties from the mountains, man, holy. All right, I think everyone decided to back off finally. But another reason, guys, I'm so convinced that these zombie bosses are gonna be coming is because there is actually a lot of Marvel zombie-related comics. And since Fortnite has been planning out this season so well, I don't think it's a coincidence that this season is falling on Fort Nightmares as well. And I definitely think they're gonna try and tie in these comics with Fortnite. But hold on, wait, I wanna try and sneak up on this guy. I don't think he knows I'm here. About to crash out on him. Oh, 30. Oh. Oh my god. No, I'm not gonna get my kill now. Look at this guy. Come on. He survived that? What? Bro. This Wow, that dude actually got to make it out of the storm. But yeah, guys, like I was saying, with all the leaks and all the comics and just all the info we have, I feel like this update coming up is going to be absolutely nuts. Especially since this recent one wasn't all that special. Wait, what? Where did I just get shot from? All right, this dude is hiding over here somewhere. He honestly might be in this bush. Oh yeah, I hear him. I need these minis though. Oh my gosh, that crash pad actually got him. There he is, he's in the water. No way, he's trying to push me like this. Oh my. <gasps> no, don't choke now. Oh my, bro, if I would have choked that, that would have been tragic. But yeah, guys, the final guaranteed leak that we should see with this update is the fireball and fire jump abilities that Hypex was able to leak. And my guess, it'll be Captain Marvel's ability, but it is possible it could be Ghost Rider 2. All right, these are the last two. I better get in this real quick. I'm coming, boys. Oh, 1v1. This guy, oh, he's white too. He's screwed. This dude is literally probably one and a half HP. Oh. And that's how he goes out. RIP, boys. Well, GG's. Nice little victory royale to end it off. So, guys, I put it in the video. Fortnite Russia accidentally leaked the update that's coming out tonight. So, you guys got to be on the lookout for that. But yeah, guys, I finished doing the giveaway for the 10,000 V-Bucks for the song a couple videos ago. But honestly, I was surprised how many of you guys tweeted me. So, I'm going to do more giveaways like that in the future, just randomly. But yeah, guys, thank you for your support. Update coming out tonight. Please use code DOOM if you can. Drop a like, subscribe with all notifications on, leave a comment with your epic ID, and I will see you guys in the next one. All right, peace out.